What do you think, baby? It's beautiful. Nice Fan party. rang. It's beautiful. Oh my God, this is this it, baby. Is, yeah. This is it. Fresh roast coffee. Good thing it take time. Yeah, so this is this is a social thing. And then they just let it drip. Let it drip. Let it drip. Let it drip. So mix it up like this. Yeah. Okay. And me, I did like straight up. Oh my dear. Fang rang can I? Whoa, whoa, that <laughs> deep. Ouch. What are you doing? What the f is that? This is the strongest coffee I've ever had in my life. It's like like tobacco juice. about taste and taste. We're gonna be shopping in beautiful day markets. We're gonna be eating in night markets. We love markets. Everyone loves markets. It's sustainable. Go, 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 go. Ow. Yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna be eating everything I ever dreamed of. Vietnamese food is my all-time favorite, and I'm here. I'm home. We're gonna be going to Kana, a beautiful fishing village where Rang was born. Yeah. This is dead set on life! Welcome to Vietnam! God damn it! Ah! <laughs> 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 You're back home. That's it, I'm home. It's been what, 15 years? Long time. Ever since we landed, you've been really stressed out, man. Well, I get emotional, I mean, I'm happy, excited. Yeah. But like I say, I mean, this is where I'm from. I mean, it, I mean, I left Vietnam 1979. Yeah, right after the war. I came to Newfoundland. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the, the, the small fishing village stuff where I grew up, where I walk. Kana. There's gonna be a lot of people around you. There's gonna be a lot of people. Yeah, They've definitely. never seen a guy like They'll this. They'll probably see you fat and all the... Ow, ah, ah, I heard you, you mother My love for all things Vietnamese started 13 years ago when I met Rang as a young chef. And as soon as we became close friends, he eventually told me the crazy story about how he ended up in Canada. Rang had to flee Vietnam in 1979 after the North invaded, bringing communist rule with them. And back then, opponents of the new regime were sent to re-education camps. So many had to flee the country by any means. He became one of the thousands of fleeing refugees known as the Vietnamese boat people. After a long journey, Rang settled in Newfoundland and eventually became a chef in Toronto. And although he's been in touch with his family through email, it's been nearly 15 years since he's been back to Vietnam. A place I've always been fascinated with, but never had the chance to visit. How does a refugee from across the world end up teaching me everything I know about cooking? What's Ryan doing? What's like... Where's the big boy? I've been out here, how long no. did it take? Thunder and Jesus, boy, look at Jesus! <laughs> Yahoo! What the f shirt? You don't like my shirt? I love your shirt. That's who you are, Master Rang. Did back you, home. Did you can't say Master Rang. You have to write it down. Yeah. So people can read it. They need to read it. They won't be able to read it here, so it doesn't really matter. So listen, you get to go? Yeah! All right. Before we started our day, Rang wanted to bring me to a local breakfast spot to try some bun sao, a Vietnamese seafood crepe. So what do we got? This is like almost because like... It's like a bun sao. Yeah, bun and sao? Bun sao. Bun sao. And only Frank Rang and Kana have it. Okay, this is only specific here. It's like a French crepe. Uh, you can have calamari, shrimp, yeah. pork belly. Yeah. And very 
crispy. Yeah, it's and amazing. Eat day, night, morning, it's anytime. Amazing. This is the best time. The best. This is morning. It. Yeah, we, you know, sit down. For a long street. little scooter ride. And you see the shrimp and the calamari over there, nice, fresh. Yeah. They come from Canal. All the seafood comes from the canal. Master Rang, like a small city. Yeah. So all the love from the sea is yeah. from Canal. Master Rang was born in Canal, a small fishing village about an hour away from Fan Rang. So we gassed up our scooters and hit the road to see Rang's hometown and to meet his family. Fan Rang, you can just pull up to some lady on the side of the street and she's got water bottles full of gasoline. I lost Rang, I think. I turned around because I saw this lady. Where's Rang? So I'm hearing Fan Rang driving around, and me and Rang are trying to go to Kana, and he took off on me, and now I'm stuck here trying to find Rang. Oh. Go this way and then left? I'm literally on my own out here, besides the camera crew, because you guys aren't stupid, but I'm still lost. Rice field. Fatu! Fatu! Oh! What the Where the did you go, man? Well, I was looking for you because uh, I thought you would go straight and wait for me, so I thought No, around. we went across the street! Can't and see. I had to drive for over an hour in Vietnam. Well, that's okay. What's well, okay? <laughs> Kana is located on Vietnam's beautiful South Central coastline, which is used as a major transport route. Is this your village? Yeah. <laughs> it's good memory, man. When I was here, there's no road. There's, there's no, no road. road. Duck road. Yeah. Now they have payment now. I don't recognize a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Nothing was here when you were here 25 yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's all cow, you know what I mean? All, every now and then you see a cow. Kana! Kana! This is the real Vietnam. This is it, man. This is Kana. It's Kana. Beautiful. So all the fishing boats? Yeah. Yeah. Kana is a sleepy fishing village which produces some of the best fish sauce in Vietnam but it also produced my best friend and cooking mentor. It's here where Master Rang was born. How are you? I'm great. Good. Hello. Hi. Oh, good. <laughs> so this is uh, the sister. Yeah. I live in her family. OK. Did they ever think that you would become somebody? No, mm -hmm. uh -huh. no, everybody in, uh, in Canada or US, anybody left Vietnam, they all, they're ultimately somebody. You yeah. rich. Right. They don't give a shit if you're poor or not. When you come back, that means you're rich. Yeah. There's no way people yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, cute. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> they think you're cute. They think I'm cute? Yeah, you see all the kids right here? Yeah. How old are you? How old am I? Yeah. I'm 33. Mamba. Ah. Uh -huh. Me and you? Yeah. Me, my girlfriend? Uh -huh. No. What's the matter? What, what? They say no. They say ah! no. <laughs> they say no. <laughs> you see my body? She never met a white man before. <laughs> Look at the Peggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, more people come, guys. No! No, I, we're all trying to see my uh, ring. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, right. Half the village comes, all these beautiful women. It's a beautiful thing here. Uh huh. Nobody, no way men come here. No. See? See? They all can do it. What's she doing? She's washing out all the baskets? Yeah. The cow. There's a cow down here on the beach. Although tourists don't know Kana, it's famous locally for its fish sauce. The fish sauce manufacturing trade has been here since the French colonial rule. The fishermen here catch more than 31,000 tons of fish per year, mainly anchovies, which is the most important ingredient in making fish sauce. Okay, this is it, Maddie. This is the fish sauce, baby. The anchovy. Beautiful. Getting fresh from the ocean. Yeah. What is the timeline from ocean to jar? It takes six months. Six months. It's complete. Right. Six months. So this is just the beginning. That's it. Right? That's People don't even beginning. see that this is this is just the beginning. Yeah. 
after being put in all the different pots, it just takes time. And you have that compression and, and weight, and then you're gonna recycle, it's gonna drip, and then you're gonna recycle on top. Keep doing it. Recycle on top. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, in six months, you have this clear, beautiful, full-bodied fish sauce with no additives, no nothing. It's just 100% salt and fish. Everything from the ocean. Fishing boats are put to sea every day, and the catch is shipped to the largest nearby restaurants and markets in Van Rang. Where are we, buddy? This is uh, a night food market. We're gonna try everything. They're gonna try everything. Yeah, 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 let's keep moving. The thing that I love about coming to like different night markets all over is that it's literally just like, you know, endless amounts of little booths, and they're just serving one thing. These guys are just doing the chicken and the pork. You get the smoothies. Mm. You know, the night market's mm. almost like the perfect restaurant. You can go up to any booth you want. You're sitting outside. There's tons of people here, tons of kids. OK, baby. Oh, my god. This is another one. Oh. So we're going to have a. Uh... Can't even sit properly on this yeah. shit. So in Vietnam, these are called chairs. And they're not made for uh, big boys from Canada. And it's been the bane of my existence since I've got here. So what'd you order? Beef noodles. The beef noodles? Like yeah. It's not like a beef pho, but more like a deep taste. Oh my god, that's it. Don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about that. The broth is perfect. The fresh herbs, the oh, cabbage. Unbelievable. The crispy leeks. This is like a very, very highly balanced, but very flavorful bowl of bumbo. Ow. I have a feeling you're gonna sit down. <laughs> go, 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 go. It's 5 a.m. in Kana. The boats are all lined up right in the harbor, just waiting to come in. The moon is just setting. The sun is rising. All you can smell is the ocean, fish sauce. All the people are gathering. They're already starting to trade and sell fish. I feel like this is going to be a very, very cool experience. All the women are already bickering and fighting over prices. Rang, how does this all work, man? Like, how do you even buy a fish here? Oh, because you see everybody here. They put all the fish, everything on the floor, on the ground. Yeah. So everybody trading. They, yeah. they go about the price. Yeah, yeah. This is anchovy, it's a fresh stuff in a bowl. They harvest the fish last night, they, keep, yeah. they brought it in. This but, is the fish that they use to the make fish the fish sauce. sauce. That's right. But yeah. like I say, uh, if they need it, they can use it. If not, they ship it to the city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they want to marry you. They want to marry me? Yeah. <laughs> We're out here in Kana, baby! Kana! You ready, Mary? OK, guy, it's a culture tradition. You can't walk over the fish oh. to the bad luck. Don't walk over the fish. To the bad luck. Don't step over the fish. No walking the fish, bad luck for them. Where's the get that? I have no idea. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Wow. It's a beautiful day out here in Kana. God bless. Peace. So Matthew? Yeah? I'm gonna take a walk out here. I'm gonna show you something very meaningful to me. I'm gonna show you that I was born. I would raised. Wow. When my parents uh, passed away and uh, I become like a homeless, whoever they came in, they came in. Right. Yeah. This is one right here. This is it? Yeah. This is it. This is this is your block. Yeah. Rang's block. block. Old block. Old block. Yeah. <laughs> Good memory. Master Rang was an orphan here at 10 years old. We're in the labyrinth. This is like, look, all the original. It's hard for Rang to talk about it on camera, but he told me stories about him growing up in Kana. He lived on the streets, and he slept under boats until a family offered him food and shelter for work. So this is the guy here, guy. Yeah? This is the one who take care of me. Uh, he, he's, uh, he trained me how to fish, he trained me how to survive. 
Uh, that's it. No pay, no salary. Yeah. It, just live. Free. You got to live here for free, and that's then you it. just worked. Yeah, they take me like a family. Yeah. There's no, uh, nobody look after me. Yeah. Like when a boat come in and uh, propeller, yeah. but hitting something, it broke. He the one who make me dive underneath the boat okay. to fix it. Uh -huh. Yeah. So he say I'm to wait. Yeah. <laughs> I say uh, I'm not a village. Uh, yeah. Boy anymore. When the North Vietnamese arrived in Kana, bringing communist rule the soldiers started taking all of the food, leaving nothing for the villagers. A prominent family escaped by boat and wrote back to the village saying they arrived safely in America. They included pictures with their letter. Rang remembers the images in those photos as looking like heaven. This inspired him to start stealing diesel and water, burying it in the sand in preparation for his own escape. You see that little boat over there? Yeah. That is the same size that the one I stole. So we stole that boat yeah. from right here. Right. This, this part right here. Right. In right this place right here. Right. Four guy and four girl. Okay. So what we did, we stole the boat and we took it directly to the sun. Right. And that's what I heard people say. You go directly to the sun right. and some American boat gonna pick you up. Okay. We run out of gas, run out of food, run out of water. Yeah. So on the way there, and uh, 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 five people uh, died. And five, five died? Yeah, five, you know, died, they drowned. So look back here, I don't know how lucky I am to be a Canadian. I never forgot it, a part of my life. So this is where I came from, where I grew up. I've known you for this long, and I could never even fathom, like, this whole scenario. I learned how to cook fr French food uh -huh. from a guy who stole a boat from here. Blows my mind. It's, uh, it's amazing. Now, like I said, very uh, emotional. I'm glad that you came with me, and yeah. I'm glad we're together in uh, my village. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's amazing, Love dude. you, man. I love you, buddy. So beautiful here, man. We're about to meet Rang's sister. Yeah. She's the woman who raised Rang, took care of him. There you go, there they are. This is them? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, This is uh, Leilang Mateo. Mateo. Hey, okay, nice to meet my, you. This is my sister, that's my brother-in-law. She's beautiful. A long time she hasn't seen me, yeah. she's mad now. She's mad. Okay. Ma. Mug. 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 What's this? Mug. Uh, shrimp cake. Ooh. Homemade. <laughs> tôm, tôm biển á, làm ra. It's a shrimp. How do I say thank you in Vietnamese? Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn? Yeah. Well, cảm ơn. This is the best. When was the last time these guys saw you? Lâu quá, chị không gặp tôi thì chị nghĩ làm sao? Nhớ chứ sao? She miss me for a long time. Nhớ không biết ở bên đó làm sao? Cho nên giờ mừng còn chết luôn à. Very happy. Răng đi lúc đó là, uh, là cái uh, ngày cái, cái, 20 tháng 10 là cái ngày uh, kỷ. Uh, chị hai anh hai tưởng là răng là chết ngoài biển không à. How did you find them yeah. after you went to Canada? So I took one her name. Yeah. I sent to Canada. And in Canada you go then everybody know everybody. Right. So in the, the letter get delivery. They know so I'm, you sent a letter? Yeah. So they know I'm a survive. When did your sister and her husband meet? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you really want to ask that about 60 years ago? Yeah, I want to, I want to know how these guys met. Hai anh chị gặp nhau bằng cách nào hồi đó nhé. Anh hai làm thợ may. Còn chị hai thì nấu 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 bánh canh đó bán. Anh hai đi qua lại thấy anh hai thương chị hai. They have sex with you now, not even. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. We don't need to talk about that, right? No. no. You know me. <laughs> you know me. Anh chị xuống cái chỗ em ở đó, ra bờ biển nướng cá, nướng mực, có bữa ăn cơm trưa. We're here at the Fan Rang Market. We want to pay a little respect to Rang's family, so we're going to cook him a delicious meal inspired by all the things we've seen. So we're going to hit into the market, yeah. get a bunch of amazing stuff, and then uh, cook. Uh, Put it together. Cook on the beach, man. Beautiful. Is that nice? Yeah. Okay, uh, ready? See all the vegetables right here? This market is really amazing. You got the pork, you got beef, you got fish, you got the freshest vegetables. 
I'm in paradise right now. Vietnam. All right. Big boy. Big boy. Hey, good luck. <laughs> we're lucky enough to use the hotel we're staying at. We're using their kitchen. So we've got the jackfish. Yeah. We're going to grill that out on the beach, hopefully. Right. The mackerel, the yeah. beautiful mackerel. Yeah. We're going to just fillet, yeah. marinate in fish sauce, wow. and then just grill the skin side and then slice it really nice. Beautiful. Oh, flavor. The spearfish yeah. will just make the ceviche. Yeah. That's it. Come on, Ryan, give it a big flip, buddy. Damn, I'm a pro. I'm making a sauce. You try one? If I like it, you like it, they must like it. They must like it. It's all about taste, right? It's all about taste. Okay. You hai and hai ngồi hai bên đây ha. Mm. Dì ngồi xuống. Anh hai. Quan trọng dữ vậy trời. Bỏ vô này nọ cho ăn cái này mắm chấm ha. Nói gì vậy? Chả cá. <cười> cá xào được mắm. Hậu giờ chưa ăn. Ờ hả? Được hay không được? Chua quá. What do you say? Uh, she, she say not too bad. You don't need a lot of fish sauce. She need fast fish sauce. Yeah. He's okay. Okay. We can make everybody happy. Huh? That's well, true. And I tell him to tell you the truth. If he doesn't like it, he's gonna tell you the truth. That's it. Xào ra muốn. Tôi xào. Ăn cho biết. Vậy là cậu răng xào. Nó nó nó. <cười> chỉ cái này chỉ có món tiêu lạp chị <cười> <cười> nhưng mà nói nó là là anh chị á là cảm ơn nó là em là gặp được người bạn tốt là nó đó it's here that Rang's crazy journey began and it amazes me to think with all the hardships he had to overcome somehow he eventually made it to Canada and became an amazing chef father friend mentor Master Rang, I love you. How does a kid from the other side of the world teach me everything I know about cooking? He stole a boat and drove it into the sun. <laughs>